How can I bounce back when the world around me is crumbling? Many of us feel like everything in our lives is falling apart. And here comes that old TD Jakes talking about bounce back at a time. I'm at my lowest point where you got to bounce back. You either bounce back or you die. And if you don't want to die, you got to fight back. So get back up on the horse again and ride to your destination. I'm telling you, the world around you may be crumbling, but that's exactly why God put you in it, to stop the crumbling. I no longer call you servants, but I call you friends, because in the process of suffering, you and I have become closer. And I will not leave my will a mystery in your life anymore. The difference between being a servant and being a friend is that a servant knoweth not what his master doeth. He said, I took you through some tests and told you to do stuff just because I said so. I told you to go just because I said so. I took you through some tests and some trials, didn't explain it, made you bear it, made you put up with it, let you cry yourself to sleep, didn't wipe away your tears, let you go through sorrow. And even in your pain, you kept on serving me, praising me, trusting me, looking to me. He said, now you're ready for promotion. Tell somebody, say, oh God. Don't let the circumstances around you dictate your outcome. Because if you do that, you are in fact a carnal Christian. Not carnal because you talk a certain way or dress a certain way, you're carnal because you're allowing the world around you to dictate how you feel about you. You become spiritual when you take authority over the situation and float your boat in a water that may be tempestuous and filled with a storm, but you can refuse to sink until you can say peace, be still.